It's lunchtime. And here's my lunch. It is pizza. But we're not going to talk about pizza in terms of nutrition today. We're talking about the box that it comes in. Because therein lies a controversy. Why? Because therein lie polyfluorinated alkyl substances. Repeat after me. Polyfluorinated alkyl substances. Mercifully, it can be abbreviated as PFAS. P-F-A-S. These substances have been in the news recently quite extensively because they are what we call forever chemicals, meaning that they don't break down easily in the environment. Why are they in pizza boxes? Because they resist moisture, they resist grease. So the box looks clean. You don't get any stains on there. People would complain if they get stains. But these uh, PFASs are used in many, many, many connections. They, they are multifaceted. Uh, they're used as lubricants, bicycle chains, for example. They're used in ski wax. And there is a lot of controversy. Because when you wax your skis, some of the wax stays behind on the snow that melts. It gets in, into uh, water systems. And they're talking now about banning these kind of uh, waxes because the PFASs are so persistent. Well, just because they are persistent doesn't mean that they are troublesome. As I've said many times, the presence of a chemical does not equate to the presence of risk. However, in this case, there is reason to be concerned. We know that in areas where these chemicals are manufactured, especially around the DuPont plant, Parkersburg, West Virginia, there is an increased incidence of various, various cancers. And that is always concerning. And it turns out that these people have higher levels of these chemicals in their bloodstream. So there's a great movement now to reduce, or in many cases, eliminate them from our environment because of their persistence. Now, why are they so persistent? The reason is that the carbon fluorine bond, this is a representation, partial representation of these polyfluorinated uh, molecules. The carbon fluorine bond is extremely strong and it doesn't get broken down. It even uh, doesn't get broken down by microbes in, in the soil. So this is why these are the forever chemicals. Whereas Normal hydrocarbon molecules, where the carbon is linked to hydrogen, these get degraded very easily. The carbon-hydrogen bond can be re readily broken, whereas the carbon-fluorine bond is very, very strong. Now, where else is there a concern about this? Uh, you probably have heard issues raised about frying pans that are coated with Teflon, which is a non-stick substance, and it is a polyfluorinated one. It is... Uh, polyfluorinated tetraethylene, that's what that is. Now, I don't think that there's any concern about cooking in these. The concern is manufacturing processes because it is during the manufacturing on tef of Teflon, not the finished product, that there's the possibility of releasing some of these fluorinated compounds into the environment. Uh, in fact, I like cooking in, in Teflon because the food doesn't burn to the pan. And if it burns to the pan, that's when you get a number of carcinogenic substances. So there are issues here. There are issues here uh, that have to be uh, addressed, and the industry is addressing them. Uh, some of the most toxic of these uh, polyfluorinated compounds have been removed from the uh, environment. But things like pizza boxes, maybe we can make do with uh, a few grease stains on that box. There aren't any here. Now, what about the pizza? Well, I think it's uh, a great lunch. This one is uh, all vegetarian, so I'm not going to worry about the nitrites and the uh, pepperoni that might be on here. Mmm. Good stuff. But you have to remember to floss after this is Teflon dental floss. Am I going to worry about flossing? No, it's not going to leach anything into my body. But there is concern about where it is manufactured because it is manufactured in large amounts and there, there can be some le leaching out. And indeed, 
it is possible to make dental floss without the polyfluorinated compounds. So there you know the story. Next time you are eating your pizza, you can think about the chemicals in the box. I don't think that they're doing you any harm. I'm not getting any in the pizza, but in the manufacturing process, there are substances that are released in the environment and we can do without those. Mm, that's a good pizza.